What's going on, guys? Um, so I went to my local Toys R Us yesterday. Uh, they got a case in of the NECA 12-inch long, 6-inch tall uh, Godzilla 2014 figure. Um, I mean, for $18.99 plus tax, was like around 20 bucks. He's pretty cool for what he is. Um, I was expecting a little more. But, uh, I mean, for $18.99, really can't complain. Uh, I mean, when I got him, he looks great. Don't get me wrong, sculpt's great. Uh, let me show you it around here. The spikes are really cool. Uh, the head sculpt's amazing. It's pretty good. See, I was trying to focus on in there. Right there. So, I mean, he's not bad looking. Mouth articulates. Head turns, neck turns there. Head turns there. Um, doesn't really move up and down. Articulation goes out this far. 360. It's got a uh, swivel here. Swivel here. Same goes for the other arm. Um, the legs go up that far that far back and then for the knees it doesn't really bend see there like nothing but it does swivel to me that's just weird a little bit I don't know so it just swivels no the no knee and it swivels here at the foot um, when you get this in the package his tail comes apart is actually detached from here there's gonna be a ball joint here, and you just snap it in, and there's a swivel there, swivel there. That's two, three. And there's a swivel. This is where the ball joint would be, and the rest is like a, a bendy, a bendy wire. So, um, yeah, I mean. I would not pay for any more than 20 bucks for this guy, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. I, I'm really excited for the uh, Monster Arts version that's coming out. I mean, the blurred out pictures looks amazing, and that's just... There you go. Uh, let me bring out some Monster Arts figures, so do some comparison. I'm going to bring out the uh, Godzilla Millennium, my favorite. Um, right there. Height-wise, they're about the same. Um, that's from the top view. Uh, the NECA one, I don't know, his head seems a little small. I mean, if you look at it overall, it looks pretty cool. But, I don't know, his head just looks a little, just a, a, a tad bit small. And, let me show it to you there. So, and now I will bring out the Monster Arts Gigan for a little comparison. As you see, Gigan is huge. He is a tall, he's pretty big. He's probably like seven inches. I mean, if you include his horn, it's like eight, maybe. So that guy's big. See there. Profile. Alright. And I'm going to bring out um, Kiryu. Here. As you can see, Kiryu is taller. There. Okay. So yeah, I mean, if you guys could find them at your local um, Toys R Us or comic book shop, grab him. He's he's pretty cool. I mean, for eighteen ninety nine, twenty bucks or whatever, uh, get it. Don't pay more anything more than that. I wouldn't. Um, I'd wait for the SH Monster Arts one to come out, 
that or the uh, 24, um, I'm sorry, 12 inch tall version from NECA. Um, so yeah, I mean, cool little guy, not bad. This should hold me over until uh, the Monster Arts release, I believe that's in October. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Oh, before I forget, let me just uh, add this little effect really quick. Now, I don't know, I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm going to go see it on uh, Sunday. Um, so, excited. Super, I'm going to go with my girlfriend to go see that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to... Add this effect part and see what it would look like. Whoops. This is the uh, effect part from Fire Rodan. Um, pretty cool looking e effect. One second. Sorry about this. All right. Alright, so there he is. Huh? Not bad. Looks better on the uh, Godzilla 2000. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys that. So yeah, um, thank you for watching my video. Hit like if you like the video, subscribe if you do want. I'm just starting to make more videos, so I'm pretty novice at this, you know. But I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys give you uh, hope this give you, video helps you out. I'm making a decision. There you go. All right, guys. Take care.